What's up beautiful people? If you are new here, my name is Emelda and in today's video, I'm going to share with you my updated wash day or wash hour routine. So if you're interested, then keep watching. So when I get into the shower, the first thing I always do is to soak my hair in water or to drench my hair in water. Our hair and water are like best friends so you want to make sure your hair is completely completely drenched with water first thing you have to do so and when my hair is like completely soaked with water the first thing i do or the first step is the shampooing uh, step so before i start applying the shampoo on my hair i'm just going to press a palm on my palm I emulsify it before I applying it on my hair so I'm using my fingers my palm to help with this uh, to help work the shampoo within my hair strands and my scalp and on my scalp some of the advantages of you soaking your hair in water is that the shampoo will penetrate easily within your hair strands and also on your scalp so this is the second palm i'm still going to emulsify it and apply it on the parts which didn't get any shampoo and the third palm i'm still going to emulsify before applying it on my hair so after applying the shampoo i use my fingers to kind of um uh, especially on my scalp to scrub my scalp i don't use my nails you have to avoid using your nails on your scalp because your nails are very sharp and our scalp is really sensitive especially if you have long nails this might create some uh, wounds on your scalp so you just have to avoid that so i'm just using my fingers to kind of scrub my scalp and then washing my hair strands with my palm doing this very gently and also also you have to make sure you separate your hair to be sure that all of your hair strands have some shampoo on it and this will also help to clean your hair so make sure you separate your hair to be sure that um, your hair will be properly clean or you have shampoo on almost all uh, on your entire hair strands and please don't forget your edges so like I said, use your fingers to scrub, scrub, scrub and your palm to help in the cleaning process of your hair. And much later you will see me try to do like smooth and rake like you know right now i'm trying to smooth rake the hair separate it you can also do that it's possible when you are doing when you are shampooing your hair then i'm kind of just doing everything and when i'm done with that i'll just wash out the shampoo and move to the next step which will be our conditioning step So I'm kind of smooth, I smooth the hair and then I rake. So this is how I wash my hair anytime I have to wash my hair. It's really um, less time consuming. This method is really less time consuming. With this method, it's a three-step method where you shampoo, you condition and you style. It's less time consuming and you don't spend a lot of money on products like on my old videos i used to pre pull i used to detangle my hair with coconut oil but i don't do that anymore so i don't have i don't have to buy coconut oil i don't even use oil on my hair for the past 10 months or so so this is how i wash my hair this is how i apply my shampoo so i'll just go ahead and wash out the shampoo which i did and now we are moving to the second step which is uh, the conditioning step so right now we'll be applying our conditioner so after washing out the shampoo i didn't dry out my hair i just left all that goodness of water into my hair and moved in with my conditioner so before applying the conditioner i poured some on my palm i emulsify it then 
I am concentrating on my hair strands. Please avoid your conditioner on your scalp. The conditioner is really thick. So if you apply it on your scalp and you don't wash out everything, it's going to kind of create like a coating system on your hair, which is really not healthy. So for your conditioner, you concentrate on your hair strands your shampoo is meant to clean your scalp to clean your hair strands but your conditioner is str strictly hmm? it's meant for your hair strands yes the conditioner is going to touch your entire hair the roots so just watch me how i'm applying it but please 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 avoid applying your conditioner on your scalp so I've been applying the conditioner for some time now um, on my entire hair strand. I'm going to separate my hair into two parts where I will now start working in little sections. And in this section, what I do first is that I send my fingers within the hair. I kind of smooth, I rake to kind of do finger detangling. And when I'm done with that first part, I apply some water then i use my fingers again to rake a few times then finally i go in with my brush believe you me this is a one hour video i can't like show everything but i'm actually explaining everything i did within that hour in this uh, video so i'm like working in sections i'll use my fingers to smooth and rake and then like finger detangling when I'm done with that, I apply some water, repeat the same process of me smooth, rake, use my fingers to detangle. Then finally, I will go in with my brush. So please just watch. I really left this section very detailed. I hope it's very, very detailed. But if not, if you have any question, leave it in the comment section. And yes, I'll answer any question if, which you will leave for me there. So just watch and see what I've been trying to explain. <laughs> And when I'm done, I just put the hair into a twist. So I'll be showing another section again of what I just explained. So please just watch. And the reason why I made this video very detailed is because I get asked most of the time like how do I do my hair or my daughter's hair because uh, the people asking me this question have issue of either it's very difficult for them to comb their hair or their hair gets really dry. So I decided to make this video really very detailed so that I will kind of uh, ask them to watch this and if still they have some questions. I will answer them or if someone asks me oh how am I supposed to, what are the things I need to start doing on my hair like this is like the basic steps if you want to start taking care of your natural hair this is what you should do so on this part I made it really very detailed where I first of all took out the section used my finger to smooth rake did finger detangling then applied in the water which i've been speaking like in the other sections then used my fingers again to smooth rake finger detangling i went in with more conditioner you can go in with as much conditioner as you can or as you will but you should avoid applying it on your scalp you can see my scalp there is no conditioner but I will use my hand to kind of try to work the conditioner within the hair strands. And then finally, I will use my brush to brush, 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 which is going to help distribute the conditioner better on the entire hair strands itself. And please, when you need to comb, comb horizontally and start from your ends before reaching your roots and when you are on your roots you realize like it's tight kind of tangled or 
you need to come back to your end. Don't start from the middle or don't start from your roots. Please start from your end, then move up gradually. So what I do is that when I comb each section, I go back and undo the twist of the detangle section, join everything and then just comb. I first start horizontally, then I go vertically, but please always do it horizontally before. So I'm just going to brush everything, put in a twist, repeat the same process on the entire hair. So like I said, this method has really been a game changer for us. It takes really lesser time, wash hour is less stressful and my little girl can sit for me to wash her hair, condition it and style without being all over the place so i'm really really happy that i got to fall on the page or on this information because i got this uh, i learned this method of doing my hair from the ladies called the i am black girl girls they are on youtube and on instagram i think on facebook as well so i'm really happy i stumbled on their page or on their information they are professionals and i'm happy I fell on their page and I copied or I'm doing what they advise us to do. There was a certain point where I actually felt like questioning God about my hair from the videos I used to see. Like you need to put palm oil, you have to put potatoes, you have to put like all those things on your hair and things like your hair will grow like crazy. But the people's hair were not growing like crazy. So I was like, what is happening with my race with my people you know i was like most our own thing be, most anything that concerns us be different you know so i'm really happy i stumbled on this and i don't think i'm ever going to move back to my old method so this is what my hair looks like after applying the conditioner i went ahead and washed it out and now we are on the third step which is uh styling so again i'm not going to dry out my hair with any towel i'm just going to leave my hair with all of that water because like i said water and our hair are best friends so that moisture is going to stay right there i'm trying to create a middle path with my comb after which and i will start applying my styler i'm using a mousse sometimes i go with gel if i'm trying to do a wash and go but like i said i don't really have the uh, kind of the saloon dryer so with wash and goes i'm really like a bit reluctant so i most often just use my mousse and style so before applying my mousse again i like working in sections after a few pumps on my pants i'll then apply it on the sectioned hair use my fingers to smooth rake and then i'll finally use my brush to comb so what i do is that i apply the mousse i use my i smooth the hair then i rake again i use my fingers to separate the hair and then finally i go in with my brush like the same thing i did when i was conditioning the hair so that's what i do it's optional you can after using your fingers to smooth rake and then separate you can leave it like that you can avoid the brushing part but i just like doing it and another insight when i when I'm done with my wash hour or my wash day, that's my shampooing, my conditioning and my styling. I don't comb my hair. Yes, I don't comb my hair. The next time you see me combing my hair, it's when I'm washing my hair. So I don't comb my hair often. I really don't kind of stress my hair a lot. And I think this method has also helped with my edges. If you can see, my edges are intact so i think it has a lot of advantages if you are somewhere with your hair journey that you think you are asking a lot of questions i think you can start with this method and i'm i'm really sure to tell you that you find positive um, changes so that's what we do and we are happy doing it it's really much easy i cannot stop repeating these things it's easy less time consuming we don't spend a lot of money on products so i'll just be very fast to with the other section here because the first part was well detailed so i'm just repeating the same thing i'm not being fast i actually made these um, clips faster so please please don't be fast 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 on your hair any clip where you see me um 
like where you see very fast 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 like the video going very fast 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 it doesn't mean i'm that fast i made those clips to go very fast if not the video would be too long even though it's already long <laughs> so those are the things i do on my hair and i hope this is really well uh, detailed or uh, better explained but like i said earlier if you still have some questions don't uh, feel free to leave it in the comment section and I will answer the questions uh, which you will drop there. So to my new subscribers, you're welcome to the family. To my old subscribers, thank you for always supporting your girl. Thank you for your love. And the family is growing like you can see. So we just have to keep on growing. And if you think there's someone you know or uh, which this video might be helpful to them, please feel free to share the video to anyone which you know it will be of help. And also, in order to make these videos to reach a, um, a larger audience, it's by you liking the video. So, your likes are very important. Your shares are also very important. But please, if the video was of help to you or you enjoyed watching the video, please don't forget to like and share and subscribe. So, like I said, after applying my styler, which was my mousse, I just wanted to do a really quick hairstyle because I was... Um, running late i needed to be somewhere so i just did like this little uh i just slick the hair and also if you are if you have difficulties slicking your hair that's putting your hair like in really smooth um this smooth state this is like the very best method of doing your hair after shampooing conditioning um during your styling where you apply your styling mousse it's actually the best time where you can slick your hair so the method has like all the advantages you might think of so i've been talking and talking thank you for watching and please like subscribe and see my next video Bye bye